Hey guys, welcome back to the ranch. Today I want to show you how to repair a chip in a laminate floor. So let's get to it. Now, as you can see, we have a rather big chip here uh, in the laminate flooring. Something fell down and chipped it. And since it is laminate, you know, you can't just cut in a Dutchman, which would be nice if this would be like a real hardwood floor as you could just cut out a piece here and put in a new one. Uh, you would have to cut out basically the whole panel of this laminate flooring. Um, but the panel goes around the corner and it goes all the way over to here. And it's just a really big mess trying to repair laminate flooring. Now laminate flooring is uh, used over here a lot in rental apartments because it is cheap uh, to install and it's cheap basically to maintain. But the thing is when you have chips like that, you either have to do expensive repairs by cutting out large sections and replacing it with new ones, or you can do it the other way, uh, the way I'm gonna show you today. And that is basically filling it uh, with a color wax, which is made for wood which you're going to put into this chip here um, you're going to try to color match it now these waxes come in a variety of different colors the one that I'm going to use I actually have sitting on the radiator right now to warm up because I keep these down in the basement uh, where it's rather cold and it works better when they're warm uh, there are different kits available and as I said in theory you could kind of color blend like if you have a different colors like lightish and darkish if the chip would go through everything you could uh, color blend it with multiple of these wax sticks but I'm just going to use one color and fill it in the reason why it's important to fill in laminate flooring let me try to zoom in here as you can see oh, come on focus 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 there we go as you can see it's just the top layer is actually what makes this thing waterproof and on the bottom you can see it's just this uh, pressed wood so if water were to get into this chip now it would just start totally deteriorating this piece of wood and make it uh, this piece of laminate actually and make it a lot worse than it already is so you want your wax to be at at least room temperature so that you can then with uh, some kind of this is like a plastic, I wouldn't say squeegee. Um, it's just uh, harder so you can get your piece of it and really work it in and then get it flat over it. You can also do this uh, with a uh, nice flat and sharp chisel to get it in here. And let's just see how this works and how it turns out afterwards. Now this is the color stick that I'm going to be using. It clo uh, most closely matches uh, the color of the laminate floor that I have and as you can see I had it on the radiator so if I push into it it kinda you can see that it's a waxy type uh, it kinda lets go so you're just gonna wanna take some of it off it can be more than you need place it over your crack and then just force it down into it into the chip move the excess away put it back now I took the excess off of this squeegee looking thing again and I'm gonna go back over the chip and force it in here now it usually takes some working of the material and usually you will go back with a little bit more uh, because you will move it around but the rubbing it back and forth, the pushing it down, it actually heats up the wax, you know, from the friction, and thus helps you to get it in there even better. Now there are kits available that come with like a little soldering iron type device, which uh, heats up the wax and helps you put it in, but I don't have that one, so. 
I'm just going to use what I have. As you can see, it's getting flatter now and better. Now, this is not, I would say, a hundred percent permanent fix. It's something that you will have to reapply after a certain amount of time because as you wash the floor, as you get stuff that is pulled over it, um, the wax will come out after a while. But what you can also do now is get a blow dryer and blow on it a bit. That'll make it even warmer and then we'll squeegee it over for the last time to get it nice smooth finish. So let me get the blow dryer and we'll be right back. So now it's a bit warm. And now you can easily scrape over the top. You can actually see it went down a bit more. Let's give myself a little bit more wax. And force it in some more. And there we go. The crack is, or chip, I don't know why I keep saying crack. The chip is now pretty much all filled up. I'm probably going to hit it with the blow dryer one more time. Make sure that it really sinks in all the way. And then just add a little bit more if necessary as you can see right there just a smidge more to really make sure that it's waterproof and that's it that's how you can fix a chip in your laminar flooring without cutting sawing or anything like that i hope this video helped you guys out if it did please give it a thumbs up uh, if you liked the video leave us a comment leave us a comment if you didn't like it if you got any other ideas how to do things uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot.